Have you ever wondered how crucial anesthetics are in medical procedures? The answer might be more significant than you think. Anesthetics are the unsung heroes of the medical world, making it possible for doctors to perform surgeries and procedures that would otherwise be unbearable. At its core, anesthetic is a substance that causes loss of sensation. It does this by blocking the nerve signals in your body that tell your brain you're in pain. This means that during a surgical procedure you don't feel any discomfort, even though your body is being operated on. It's a remarkable feat of medical science that has revolutionized the way we treat illness and injury. But the story of anesthetics isn't just about numbing pain, it's also about inducing a state of unconsciousness that allows for more complex operations. This is what we call general anesthesia. Under general anesthesia you're completely unconscious and unaware of what's happening. This means doctors can perform procedures that would be too traumatic to endure if you were awake. The history of anesthesia is a fascinating journey. It starts with the ancients, who used opium and other natural substances to dull pain, but the real game-changer came in the mid-19th century with the discovery of ether. This volatile liquid could be inhaled to induce a state of unconsciousness, making it possible to perform surgeries without causing pain. It was a revolution in medicine, and it paved the way for the sophisticated anesthetics we use today. Now we have a wide range of anesthetics at our disposal, each with its unique properties and uses. From local anesthetics that numb a small area of the body, to regional anesthetics that can block pain in an entire region, to general anesthetics that render the patient unconscious, the scope and versatility of these substances are truly astounding. Indeed, without anesthetics, many of the medical procedures we take for granted today would be unthinkable. It's a testament to the power and indispensability of these remarkable substances. So next time you're at the dentist or preparing for surgery, spare a thought for the anesthetics that make it all possible. Anesthetics are not a one-size-fits-all solution. There are different types for different scenarios. Akin to how a painter selects the appropriate brush to create a masterpiece, medical professionals choose from a palette of anesthetics to ensure the best patient experience. Let's delve into the three main types of anesthetics local, regional, and general. Each has its own unique characteristics, administration methods, and suitability for different procedures. First, there's local anesthesia. Like a precise pencil sketch, it numbs a small, specific area of the body. This is the go-to choice for minor procedures like tooth extractions or skin biopsies. It's administered directly to the tissue via injection and works by blocking nerve signals in that particular area. Next up, we have regional anesthesia. Think of it as a broad paintbrush stroke, numbing a larger part of the body like an entire limb or the lower half of the body. It's often used in procedures like childbirth or knee surgery. It's typically delivered via an injection near a cluster of nerves, blocking sensations from an entire region of the body. Last but not least we have the all-encompassing general anesthesia. Like immersing a canvas in a color wash, general anesthesia renders the patient unconscious and unable to feel pain throughout the entire body. It's used for more extensive procedures such as open-heart surgery or brain operations. It's administered through inhalation or an intravenous line and affects the brain, resulting in a state of controlled unconsciousness. Each type of anesthetic has its own role to play, with the choice depending on several factors including the procedure, the patient's health status, and the doctor's judgment. It's a delicate balance, a well-orchestrated dance between patient comfort, surgical requirements, and safety considerations. Understanding the types of anesthetics allows us to appreciate the complexity and precision in the field of anesthesiology. It's a reminder that medicine is not just a science, but an art, as we strive to ensure the best care for each and every patient. Local anesthetics, as the name suggests, numb a small, specific area of the body. These are the workhorses of the anesthetic world, providing targeted relief without affecting the rest of the body. Common examples that you may be familiar with include lidocaine and novocaine, often used in dental procedures. Local anesthetics work by blocking nerve signals in the area where they're applied. They essentially turn off the sensation of pain in that specific location, allowing healthcare professionals to perform minor surgeries and procedures without causing discomfort to the patient. Whether it's a simple mole removal, a dental filling, or a skin biopsy, local anesthetics make these procedures bearable. One of the most significant advantages of local anesthetics is their safety. Since they're applied to a specific area, they have fewer systemic side effects compared to other types of anesthetics. Local anesthetics provide a safe and effective way to perform minor surgeries without discomfort. 
Regional anesthetics take the numbing a notch higher, blocking pain from an entire region of the body. Not just a small patch of skin, but a whole limb, or even your lower half. Think of it like a targeted power outage, only affecting a specific area while the rest of the city stays lit. Now let's look at two of the most common types, spinal and epidural anesthesia. Spinal anesthesia is injected directly into the spinal fluid, creating a profound numbness from the waist down. This is often used for surgeries on the lower body like hip replacements or certain types of childbirth. Epidural anesthesia, on the other hand, is injected just outside the spinal canal. It's a bit less intense than spinal anesthesia, but can be used for the same types of procedures. It's also commonly used in labor and delivery to help manage pain. Regional anesthetics allow for more extensive procedures, while the patient remains fully conscious. General anesthetics are the heavy hitters, inducing unconsciousness for the duration of major surgeries. They're the superheroes of the anesthetic world, stepping up to the plate when the stakes are high and the procedures are complex. Administered through inhalation or intravenous IV injection, general anesthetics work by affecting the entire body. This is a full body experience where not a single nerve or muscle is left untouched. However, their most profound impact is on the brain, where they induce a state of controlled unconsciousness. Imagine the brain as a bustling city, with thoughts and sensations zooming around like cars on a freeway. General anesthetics are like a temporary citywide power outage, bringing all activity to a standstill. But how does this happen exactly? Well, the exact mechanisms are still a subject of research, but one thing is clear. General anesthetics disrupt the normal patterns of neuronal activity. They act on specific receptors in the brain, impairing the communication between nerve cells. This results in a lack of awareness, memory and sensation, allowing surgeons to perform their magic without causing pain or distress. General anesthetics also have other effects on the body. They can slow down your breathing and lower your blood pressure. That's why their administration is always carefully controlled by an anesthesiologist, a medical professional who monitors vital signs and adjusts the dosage as needed throughout the procedure. They are like the conductor of an orchestra, ensuring that everything goes smoothly and safely. But despite these effects, general anesthetics are not to be feared. They are crucial tools in modern medicine, making it possible to perform surgeries that would otherwise be too painful or distressing. They are used in a wide range of procedures, from heart surgery to orthopedic operations, and even in some diagnostic procedures where stillness is required. In the end, general anesthetics serve one primary purpose, to create a safe, pain-free experience for the patient. They allow the human body to temporarily step aside, providing a clear field for the surgical team to work their healing hands. General anesthetics make it possible to perform complex surgeries, creating a pain-free experience for the patient. While all anesthetics serve a critical function, some are more versatile and widely used than others. From numbing a tiny area of your body to putting you into a deep, dreamless sleep, these medications are truly the unsung heroes of the medical world. Let's start with local anesthetics. These are the agents that numb a small area of your body, allowing doctors to perform minor procedures with minimal discomfort. And in this category, lidocaine reigns supreme. It's the go-to choice for many healthcare professionals due to its rapid onset and intermediate duration of action. Whether it's a dental procedure, a skin biopsy, or a minor surgery, lidocaine ensures that you feel as little pain as possible. Next, we have regional anesthetics, which numb a larger area or region of the body. If you've ever had an epidural during childbirth or a nerve block for a surgical procedure, you've experienced the power of regional anesthetics. Bupivacaine is a prime example in this category. It's a long-acting anesthetic, providing pain relief for up to eight hours. It's especially useful for procedures that require a longer duration of anesthesia, such as knee surgeries or childbirth. Finally, we come to general anesthetics, the heavy hitters of the anesthesia world. These agents render you unconscious and devoid of sensation, allowing surgeons to perform complex and lengthy procedures. Propofol, one of the most commonly used general anesthetics, is a star player. It's known for its rapid onset and short duration of action, making it ideal for surgeries where quick recovery is a priority. To sum it up, lidocaine, bupivacaine, and propofol are considered the best in their respective categories of local, regional, and general anesthetics. They offer a balance of rapid onset, appropriate duration, and safety, making them the preferred choice for a wide range of medical procedures. Anesthetics are a testament to the remarkable advances in medicine, 
making surgeries and procedures more comfortable and safe for patients around the world.